talk about how to use Iraq on a law school exam. Iraq is a great tool to use and it's perfect, especially when you start to practice, because if you use Iraq, you're going to have all the components that your professor wants to see. Your professor is going to ask, did the student spot the issues? Did they know the rules of law? Did they apply the law correctly? Did they conclude for each issue? So if you remember the Iraq mnemonic and you use it correctly, you should see yourself scoring pretty high on law school exams. So let's talk about what Iraq means. The I in Iraq stands for issue. You want to spot all the issues in the fact pattern. R stands for rule. Basically, can you state the rule of law? A stands for analysis. Can you analyze the law properly? And C stands for conclusion. Are you able to arrive at a conclusion for each issue that you spot? So let's dive in and say, what do each one of these components really mean? The I in Iraq stands for issue. So you're going to actually be expected on most law school exams to spot all the issues. Usually the call the question will tell you to discuss the issues or it'll just say, you know, your counsel for plaintiff, discuss. So it's not going to tell you the exact issues that you need to talk about. You're going to have to go through the fact pattern and actually find those issues. Issue spotting is really important because if you don't spot the issues, you can't state the rules, you can't apply the law, and then you're not going to be able to basically do the rest of the Iraq um, formula, which is what's going to get you points on a law school exam. So it's important to spot the issues. The best way to get good at spotting issues is to do practice exams. The more practice exams that you complete, the better you'll get at issue spotting. And the best practice exams you can complete are your professor's past exams, because oftentimes they'll test issues in the same way. So if you complete a bunch of your professor's past exams, then you'll be able to spot a lot of the um, ways that they like to test certain issues. It'll make your job easier on the actual exam day. The R in, I in Iraq stands for rule. So you want to be able to state the precise rules of law. This is why it's so important to have an outline and to have that outline memorized because you want to know the elements of law. Even if you have an open book exam, it's still very important to memorize your outlines because you're not going to have time to go through your outline and consult every section of it and look for the rules. You just won't have that kind of time on a law school exam. You're going to spend too much time analyzing the fact pattern and uh, doing what you need to do to get that high score on the exam. So even if you have an open book exam, I can't emphasize the importance of having a good, well-organized outline and memorizing that outline so that you know those key elements of law. Also, as a side note, when you take the bar exam later, you're going to have to have those rules memorized, so it's important to memorize them now. The A stands for analysis, or sometimes people say application. This is where you're actually going to be applying the law to the facts. What we recommend you do is you say what the plaintiff would argue and you say what the defendant would argue. Okay, so you say the plaintiff's, uh, plaintiff's argument, how the defendant would respond, who's correct. Then you say what the defendant would argue, how the plaintiff would respond, who's correct. And that type of analysis, if you get good at thinking, okay, what's the plaintiff going to say, what's the defendant going to say, then you're going to get good at writing your analysis sections. The analysis section shows your ability to think like a lawyer and make creative legal arguments. And oftentimes this sets apart the A students from the B students. So it's really important to develop this skill. Um, some of the arguments that you might want to make will be sometimes you'll argue the facts should be interpreted one way or the other, or the law should be interpreted one way or the other, um, or there's policy reasons that weigh in favor of one party or the other party, or the traditional rule should be applied instead of the modern rule. Um, the common law rule should be applied, the uh, majority rule should be applied, the minority rule should be applied. You're going to argue these different, um, you know, the, you're going to make these different arguments using the different areas of law that you know, the policies that you know, and also just the facts that you're given in the fact pattern. The best way to get good at writing the analysis section is, besides knowing the law really well, is to do practice exams. Because the more you practice, the better you become at the skill of making arguments on behalf of each side. And then lastly, you're going to want to conclude. So you want to arrive at a conclusion. You can say the plaintiff will likely win or the defendant will likely win. Don't say the plaintiff will definitely win because you, won't, you don't know that as a lawyer. But also don't make it too wishy-washy. Don't say something like, oh, the court will decide because it's up to you to arrive at a conclusion. Oftentimes for the most important issues, the conclusion is the least important part. Um, the professor will care much more about the fact that you know the law and you can apply it rather than which conclusion you arrive at.
For some of the more minor issues, the conclusion will matter. And obviously, if you have a multiple choice question um, that you're asked about, the conclusion will matter. But for most of the major issues that you're expected to analyze in a law school exam, the conclusion is the least important part. So don't worry too much about the proper answer. Instead, focus on the other components of Iraq. So hopefully this helps you develop a good strategy for law school exams using Iraq.